Good evening, my YouTube friends and family. The issue at hand tonight is atheists living in bizarro world and demonstrating their inability to live out a postmodern worldview in reality. Bizarro world, when I say that, uh, I'm talking about uh, one of Superman's enemies. Uh, this character Bizarro, he lived on his own planet, his own world, the Bizarro world, and everything was the opposite of Superman's world. Superman was a good guy, Bizarro was a bad guy. Um, Superman lived on the sphere of planet Earth, and uh, Bizarro lived on the uh, cube called Bizarro World, and uh, up was down, down was up. And that's what atheism is. It's life lived out in Bizarro World, where, uh, you know, you can look at a YouTube video where a Christian apologist debates an atheist, and the atheist will um, name the video, um, uh, Atheist Owns Christian, or whatever. Here's an example from uh, FX, FSX23's channel. And Cy Ten Bruggenkate was on it. Was doing a debate, and it came up in my feed because it says Cy Ten Bruggenkate gets his rear end handed to him. And so I watched this like hour debate, and I'm like, how did they come up with the title for this? Like, I've never seen an atheist so clearly and demonstrably and soundly defeated, and yet. They think that Cy Ten Bruggenkate lost that? I'm like, what the world? Like, that that video was named in Bizarro World. And, um, you know, I've seen the same with, like, uh, in the comment feed uh, with the debate with Bart Ehrman and um, Dr. James White when they were debating the, the trustworthiness of the New Testament. And, um, you know, I mean, Dr. James White, the closest I've ever heard him come to losing a debate was um, in a 45-minute debate that he had with N.T. Wright on um, on the new perspectives of Pauline theology, and um, you know it was a debate he only had like a week to prepare for and to to discuss an issue that massive in 45 minutes i mean you couldn't possibly you could that could be a five-hour debate and i mean those guys are are super scholars you know i mean they're uh, you know so, but anyhow there's we see this a lot and in, in the and and i've only been I've only I've only been for like the last two months on my YouTube channel, changing my focus from the open air preaching aspect of my ministry online to apologetics and and um, addressing atheists. And boy, that's exactly what I'm seeing in my comment feeds. Is that an atheist can be utterly decimated um, face to face in a debate and declare himself the winner? Uh, an atheist can be soundly demonstrated to be fallacious in his in his argumentation in the comment feed and be um and then declare himself the winner and then refuse to address you any further because well i don't like it that you're using logic line you're hiding behind a wall called logic or some i mean he said something like that i'm paraphrasing massively but nonetheless um what i want to exhort my atheist friends to do is to have just an ounce of intellectual honesty on this matter. Um, what you're demonstrating is that it is impossible to consistently live out a postmodernistic worldview in the real world. You know, that there is truth is either truth or it's not. There's no such thing as relative truth. No matter how tenaciously you try to battle for that position, you, you're just demonstrating that you can't win. Um, but you'll declare yourselves the winners, and then you'll uh, have your tribe come around you and and give you these um, really delusional reassurances that hey, you're the smart, you know, you're the bright, and that Christian, he's the dim, and you're you're smart, and he's an idiot, and um, just continue to 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 you know deepen themselves in their own self delusion. It's 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 pretty amazing. And 
it takes a lot to surprise me, to be honest with you, because, you know, um, I mean, that's who I used to be, you know, but I don't know. It's, it's something that I, I think that, um, the atheist needs to examine themselves on. Are you being honest when you declare yourself a winner in a debate? I mean, there's a paper trail. You can go back on the comment feed and read the entire dialogue and just try to try to look at it as as um, objectively as possible, which is which is tough because you know we're biased towards ourselves and you know we know exactly what's going on in our own mind and we can really only speculate in 500 characters what the other person was trying to say back to us and the full intention and motive behind their statements but i mean seriously you know when you, you know i mean it was getting to the point where you know um on on this comment feed i was just pointing out one fallacy after another just one after another just trying to say look this is the fallacy, this is why it's fallacious, and it's off topic, and, you know, let's move forward, you know, but re just utter stiff-necked refusal um, toward self-examination self and toward keeping the argument on point. And then declaring himself the winner, saying, oh, I'm done with you, I'm done with you now, I've, I'm the winner, you're the loser, I'm the genius, you're the idiot. Okay, I understand. I'm never going to win in a popularity contest. You know, I always know as a Christian um, that my videos are going to get far more thumbs down than they're going to get thumbs up. I always know that in the comment feed, I'm going to get more thumbs down than thumbs up. I don't care. I don't care about that. You know, um, it's it's a hatred of God issue. It's not a hatred of Len. You know. Uh, Jesus isn't here for you to crucify any more atheists, so because I'm his agent, you have to try to do it to me. But um, I think intellectually that's impossible, and I think that's demonstrated time and time again. So I just want to, you know, just declaring yourself the winner doesn't make it so. You know, I mean, it may make you feel better. It may make you uh, feel assured in your insecurity, whatever it is. But um, just try to have a, an ounce of honesty about it. And furthermore, I want you to listen to the words of my friend uh, Daryl Sloan here and take his advice. God bless.